Welcome Wagon by Peggy Terry. The setting is Mrs. Lazard's kitchen, a fall morning many decades ago. Two ladies sit at a table sipping coffee. Mrs. Lazard blathers on and on. And the beauty barn on Spruce Street. The Roxanne's beauty barn. Oh, God, what a vulgar name. Well, you just want to avoid going there at all costs. The new owner, Roxanne, smokes like a chimney. And if those harsh chemicals she uses don't get you as soon as you walk in the door, that cigarette scent, oh, I'd rather be, I'd rather be dead and cremated before Roxanne does anything with my hair. She smells like, and, and looks like an ashtray. I won't like Constance anywhere near that place. You know, unfortunately, I have to take a friend there this afternoon. I'll wait in the car. That's good to know, Mrs. Lizard. Uh, <laughs> It's a lizard, dear. My husband is of French descent, but you can call me Anna Maria. And Mrs. Anderson, I'm so, so very glad that someone, you, finally bought the old Haney place. I mean, it had been on the market for years and you've done so much with that front lawn, killing that crab grass and, and the back garden. Old oh, Mrs. Haney, never never did take care of her vegetable garden. Who knew? Their maggots were so fond of cherry tomatoes. My husband and I enjoy working in the outdoors. And um, <clears throat> just, um, what does Mr. Anderson do for a living? I mean, it's none of my business, but the, um, the Piney Fork Welcome Wagon does like to keep accurate records of such information and they can rely on me for the most up-to-date facts. Martin is vice president uh, for a grocery chain in Canton. Just a few stores, nothing much. Hmm, hmm, in Canton. Um, and what is the name of the chain? Perhaps I've shopped there. I do go, I do, I do visit Canton, you know. Um, oh my God, it's a big city <laughs> and, and only 20 miles away. The Lucky Cardinal. Hmm. This coffee is good. What brand is it? The Lucky Cardinal. Why? That's one of the biggest grocery stores in Ohio. That is certainly some information to send along to the welcome wagon. That's nothing really. Uh, tell me more about the beauty barn. Well, I, I would like to speak to your husband about something. Uh, just last month, I was in one of his stores while, while visiting Canton. Constance and I had driven up to the hospital to visit my old babysitter, Mrs. Betty Hooker. She used to watch my older sister and myself after school while my mother was at work at the parachute factory. Well, <clears throat> Betty was just a teenager then, almost 16, and she was like family. She'd, uh, she'd tell my sister and these stories, sing to us, playing our accordion, and making us tea and cry. Well, she's about 80 now, and I'm going to be seeing her again this afternoon. Anyway, <clears throat> I had gone to visit her at the hospital in Canton. She had just two of her fingers removed. Apparently, all those years of playing the accordion, her thumb and middle finger were so busted up, smash, to smithereens. The doctors just had to take them off. She wanted to keep them though. So when Constance and I went into her hospital room, she was sitting up in the bed with her accordion, propped up on one side and a big jar with her thumb and middle finger on the other side. Imagine my surprise. You wanted to speak to my husband about that? No, foolish. Anyway, after I left the hospital, I decided to stop at the Lucky Cardinal store across from the hospital so, to see if I could get the hamburger helper I had seen on television because I knew that the Lucky Cardinal carries every product under the sun. That's what Martin says. Well, I looked through the varieties of hamburger helper. They had hamburger helper for chicken with a yellow glove on the package. They had hamburger helper for tuna with a blue glove on the package but they didn't carry one single box of the regular hamburger helper with the gray glove on the package. I asked the box boy, 
but he had not heard of such a variety of hamburger help. I even asked the cashier about the particular items when I was checking out with my other purchase, a bottle of milk of magnesia. Did you know it comes in a lovely blue bottle now? I thought it always did. Last time I saw it on television, it came in a black bottle with a white label. Oh, wow, times have changed. Do you enjoy afternoon television, Mrs. Anderson? Oh, that, that must be my bun cake. Oh, that, that damned oven barely even gets anything hot anymore. I hope it doesn't wake up Constance. Well, I think the soap operas are a little silly these days. The loud music, the bright colors. I like them better in black and white. Don't you agree? Well, I, I do like that new program. The new Price is Right with Bob Barker. All the ladies from the neighborhood get together every afternoon and watch it. They drop whatever they're doing at the beauty barn. And I won't step a foot in that trap. It, I, I bet it stinks like a bar with all that cigarette smoke. That rock sand smokes like a chimney. So um, I just sit in my living room and I watch it while Constance takes a nap upstairs. I think it'd be more fun to watch with other ladies. Well, I make it fun. I mean, I sit here in my chair in the kitchen and when Johnny Olson calls out, come on down, I get up and I run to my chair in the living room right in front of the television. That sounds fun. Oh, the prizes they give away. Last month, they had a beautiful range self-cleaning with a clock radio a lady can more i'd rush out to sears in a heartbeat but the color wouldn't go with my other appliances in the kitchen or my countertops i saw the same range we liked it so much that martin and i ordered it for our kitchen it matches everything perfectly our other appliances <clears throat> wow mrs anderson you have gray appliances, gray countertops. Well, I, I thought the wife of a vice president would have a little more taste. I mean, I have, I have to report this to Welcome Wagon. Gray, my kitchen and appliances and countertops are the latest color. Avocado green. We had the entire kitchen redone. How could you think Mrs. Lazard, Anna Maria, when your television tells you the following program is brought to you in living color, do you enjoy the program? How new and exciting it is? How bright and... Well, it, it doesn't seem all that exciting to me. It seems just like the same old program. Mrs. Lazard, do you have a color television? Uh, what? A color television. Solid state, color chassis, zenith. Oh, my heavens, no. No need at all. I figure if Constance has to watch regular black and white television in her bedroom, then I should too. Then buy your daughter a color television. <laughs> my, my daughter, Mrs. Anderson. Have you been visiting the beauty barn, inhaling all those chemicals? I don't have a daughter. Mr. Lazard and I are childish, childless. I'm barren. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's so nice that you adopted a child. Every child needs love. We uh, <clears throat> couldn't adopt. Um, the county didn't think that we were qualified to be parents. You know, that happens. The social worker sure did enjoy my bun cake when she came to the interview, though. Well, then who is Constance? Oh, don't mind Constance. She's just barking at the television. Lassie is her favorite. Now, do you happen to get a discount at the Lucky Cardinal? Uh, well, my husband does also at the Gas and Go in the Lucky Cardinal parking lot, self-serve. Hmm. 
reminds me, I do have to fill up the gas tank this afternoon before I head up to Canton. I'm taking Betty Hooker to have her hair done at the Roxanne's Beauty Barn. <laughs> Must pick her up 3 p.m. sharp. I thought you didn't like that place. Well, I don't. I won't let those, those noxious fumes get to me. There are a few simplicity pattern catalogs for me to peruse in the glove compartment. I will wait in the car, of course. That certainly is a long drive. Don't they um, have a beauty salon in the hospital? She's been going to the Roxanne's Beauty Barn for decades and decades now. She would take us there after school. She would get her hair washed and set. My sister and I would sit in the corner and listen to her play her accordion when she sat under the dryer. Well, look at the time. I'd better let you get ready for your long drive. Anderson, would you like to accompany me and myself, Constance, and myself to Canton? You'll just adore Betty Hooker. She can play her accordion on the drive back to Piney Fork. And maybe we could stop at Lucky Cardinal on the way back and pick up a few things. You know, with your discount and all. Two birds, one stone. Goodness! What on earth was that? Betty Hooker! What on earth? How did you get here? Come on in! Get away from me, a ding dong! Where the hell have you been? Who the hell are you? Shut up, that damn dog! This ding-dong had the nerve to bring that filthy runt into my hospital room, and I got fleas. Do you have any idea how hard it is to scratch when you're missing a thumb and middle finger? Well, n no, I really don't. Trust me, you don't want to know. Anna Maria, where the hell have you been? You were supposed to pick me up at noon not be sitting in your ugly kitchen, chewing the fat with some hippie. Betty, I was, I was to pick you up at three, not noon. Three? You think I want to be trapped in the back seat of your jalopy with that mangy animal of yours? No, at three, I want to be at William Wilma Ray's beauty barn, watching the new Price is Right. <sighs> did you get here? I hitched you, fool. Do you have any idea how hard it is to hitch when you're missing a thumb and a middle finger? Well, no, I, I really don't. I know you don't. Hey, do you have a dog? No. Do you have a car? Of course I do. Well, then fire up that engine and get me over to the beauty barn. I need a cigarette. Can't smoke at the hospital. Damn oxygen tanks. I can take you over, Betty. And calm down. I can't believe you hitchhiked. That's 20 miles. It, it isn't really what much of a hitch. The floor nurse at the hospital was heading this way. So I rode in the back of her pickup. Her husband runs a little delivery service. She was dropping off a load of high-grade manure to the old Hanny place. Damn wheelchair brakes are a little worn, though. Oh, Betty, how... Oh, uh, 